Hello YouTube, my name is Paul, hope you're all keeping well. I'm back today then with another Spotlight video. And today the Spotlight shines on a Nintendo Arcade Classic from 1981. Well, this is the um, home conversion of it anyway, for the Amstrad CPC. The game is Donkey Kong. This is the disc variant, which is bloody hard to get. I've never seen one since or before buying this particular copy. Um, I bought it from a Canadian collector for about, I think about £80. By the time you put import tax on it and put the extortionate Canadian postage cost on top, it would have cost me well over 100 quid. I have no idea what it would go for at auction because I've got no idea what it would go for at auction. Comes with a little pamphlet inside there and a well fingered and well thumbed floppy disk, which still actually works, which is well, really nice, isn't it? I never played it before. I've seen a bit of footage on it before doing this clip. And I never really played the arcade one, to be honest. I played it for a little bit, but not. Well, not a lot. The one I played the most of was the Atari 2600 version, which was an absolutely crap port. I think it was deliberately made crap by the guys as well. Is it Coleco? ColecoVision? They had the rights to publish that game in the USA. They had the rights to publish it on the Atari, in television, and obviously their own system, the ColecoVision. But they did some crappy ports on the other versions because they wanted theirs to sell really well. So this is actually a very good conversion, but I've not played it at all. So the first time you see me play it in a minute, it's the first time you've ever seen me play it, so if it only lasts two or three minutes, I'm sorry about that, but I'll do my best. See you in the game. Right then. Let's give it a go. Um, like I said, I don't think I'll be uh, on here very long. Ah, I'm not on a flipping spectrum, am I? Got what I was for a minute. Bloody Wally. Right, let's just find a joystick. Right, like I said, I've never played this before. Not on the Amstrad anyway. I'm assuming you get to the top and that's it, job done. Happy looking chap. Oh, it's peg it. Peg it, it's hardly moving. Um, hello. Oh, hello. I don't think you can climb the ladders when you've got this flipping hammer, can you? No. Come on! Oh yes! Jesus Christ, help me! Gosh! Not very high, I don't think. What was that, five metres? Alright, let's peg it. What the hell is that thing coming up side there? Fire! Oh yes! No! Yes! No! <laughs> what the hell? Ah, that's a bit better. It's not a bad game actually. It's better than the flipping Atari version, that was bloody grim. Oh, I've got to get to the top of this one. Come on. Oh, he's done it. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. No. Christ almighty. That's poor. Yeah, it's quite similar to the arcade version. It's not bad at all, actually. I'm just crapping it. Right, peg it. Bit of arms going there, look. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. 
Pure luck. Can you do it? Shit! Ah. Oh. What the hell am I supposed to do there? That lifeless bird up top there, oh, she just moved. Oh, she was a bit still for a second. These barrels are over the flipping place, aren't they? You gonna do it? Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. You can do it, mate. You can do it. Whoa. Broken ladder. Christ. What's surprising, this game actually looks really easy until you play it. Come on. Oh, your bonus is dropping down up there. I guess that's your timer. Looks like it's got all the arcade features, doesn't it? Come on, you can do it! Come on! Help! Oh, yeah. Bad case of wind. Oh, crap. Must be extreme. That's oh, a conveyor belt. Oh, my God, really? Ah, a bit better. But you can't go down. My name was registered. That's got to be a first. It's quite a fun game, actually. I quite like this. I think the Atari 2600 version only had two screens as well. I think it had the first and last level. Right, let's try it again. I bet if you kind of formulate a plan, you can probably stick with the same plan all the time. What the hell was that all about? The barrel's a bit nutty. Ah, oh, first time. Well, first time. First time in the third go. Excellent. Right, what do I do here then? What do I do? What is the tactic employed? Oh, it's a conveyor belt. I see. What the hell? That's interesting. Oh, wow. What a bizarre level. Now I feel proud. Ah, Chucky Egg. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the crack is here. Um, um, can't go that way. Yes, I can. Come on, you can do it. Bounce, man. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, shit. Quite sure what to do here. Maybe. Ah, can't do that then. That does remind me of Chucky at this level. Bloody hell. Where you jump? Hey, I can actually register my name again. Excellent. Shame you can't just go down. Top score. Right, last go. My little feet going. Help me, help me. I think that's exactly the same effect I would have if I was jumping up and down on platforms. 
Fucking hell. Right, let's do it. He's running like the hell, isn't he? The arm's going. Go on, boy. Concentration face. Oh yeah. I can't imagine it will take too long to complete this game if you uh kinda know where you're going. Oh, this is a really bizarre level. It's almost like you don't really do anything. Whoa, what are you doing, boy? Hey! Broken heart. Never noticed that before. Come on, Paul, you can do it. Right. Really? What on earth? I'm not sure what to do now. What's this thing falling? Flame and hell! That's close! I thought he's dead. Oh, he is dead! That wouldn't happen in Chucky, eh? Oh, my lord. Well, you get the idea. That's not a bad little game, actually. And not a bad little conversion. I think I'm going to give the arcade one a go now. I'll see you for the conclusion. Well, I do apologise um, for putting you through that painful, bloody experience. But, yeah, my first ever attempt at the game. Very good conversion actually, much better than the uh, Atari 2600 version which was flipping diabolical. Um, yeah, I'd definitely like to get myself uh, a copy of Mario Brothers for the Amstrad CPC, floppy disk variant. I do have it on the Sinclair Spectrum which in itself isn't too easy to get to be honest. and doesn't come up very often but if you know of a copy, especially for the Amstrad CPC disk, please let me know because I would love to get hold of it. So thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for subscribing and I'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye for now.